Hi everyone and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm trying some more things from Iceland. Nizza. On the top here it says Perla Sirius. I'm reading it, I'm looking at it, I still don't know what it says. Perla, Perlu. Dun dun dun. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look at this one. Can you see all those colorful things in the chocolate? I think they're like M&Ms or smarty things. I think in some countries they call them beanies. I don't like the word beanies. I think we should throw that word beanie in the bin. I'll tell you what, if I was a little kid, this would be my favorite chocolate bar. It's a smooth, lovely cream milk chocolate, and in the inside of it, it has little tiny beanie smarty things in it, m and thingies, whatever you want to call them, really. Delicious. Pip. And this is a mint, well, it's got a picture of mint, that's how I worked that one out. I'm brilliant, aren't I? It says med, myth, nipfling, and then there's a U on the end of it. I don't think I could ever master the Icelandic language. It looks really difficult. Med means to feeling you. Well, feeling you too. And everyone in Iceland's just putting their heads in their hands right now saying, Tam, you're really screwing up our language. Mint chocolate bars. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I just feel like it's toothpaste in chocolate. Oh, okay, it's already trying to leak out of it. There you go. Okay, I know it could look, oh, now it's attached to me. Can you get off my finger? Thanks. Yeah, it's a shame that's happened, isn't it? Oh, oh. It's definitely a winner. It's got a cream mint flavored center in the middle of it and a creamy chocolate on the outside. Oh my goodness, it's almost dropped out. For you mint lovers out there, you would absolutely love this one. That's completely stuck to my finger. Next up, I've got this interesting little box and what's in this? It's licorice dandarabita. Have I just said some kind of a spell? Oh, that's a bag of them. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting them to look exactly like this in the box, like laid down this way and, and just, I don't know what I was expecting. Ooh, a nice chocolatey smell came out of the bag. <laughs> what else was I expecting? Mmm, <laughs> that smells like wood. If that's what you get, there's how many of them in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, oh. I can't avoid it. Why? What's going on? Mm. Oh! Oh! Mm. Oh! So it's got some licorice hiding inside it. It's got some rice crisps on the outside, which are in a milk chocolate. They're pretty difficult to eat because as soon as you bite into it, the whole thing starts to fall apart. Like my life, really. My life's not falling apart. Don't worry, everyone. I'm fine. I really like it. The licorice in it isn't too super sweet and it's not super salt salty. It's a great combination with the licorice and the chocolate and the rice crisps. Time for a beverage break, everyone. And today I have a mix. Take this bit of tape off. They just put that in there to protect it on its journey over here. Uh, wow, this is a great way of trying to punch yourself in the face, isn't it? I mean, I'm sure you would all find it hilarious if I punched myself in the face. And I'm not saying that in the past I haven't punched myself in the face. Please tell me in the comments below if you've ever punched yourself accidentally. This is something that happens to other people, isn't it? <laughs> or am I the only one that's ever punched myself? You know, you're doing something and you just go, oh, cop that tan. Cheers. That's, um, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I should know what it is. Far out, what is it? Tastes a little bit like tangerines or something. Is that like an orange flavor? Or leprechaun flavor? I think it's orange. It doesn't matter because people from Iceland will tell you in the comments what flavor this is. Actually, it's funny, it's kind of got a passion fruit taste to it too. What flavor is this? On the bottom of it, it says Ingulicht. It means we don't know if it's passion fruit or orange in Icelandic. I've now decided that this is orange. That's a big call, isn't it? 
And none of you out there can help me and say, well, I don't know. You can look at it. Does that help you? What flavor is that? That's orange. No, it's passion fruit. No, I think it's passion fruit now. <laughs> I do like the flavor of it. It's just hard to distinguish what it actually is. Maybe it's a combination, a mixture of different fruits in here. I'm going to go with that. See, we have passion fruit drink here, but it's a lot more passion fruity. <laughs> Maybe it's orange, that's why. <laughs> It is delicious. That's all you need to know is that if you're in Iceland, then you can definitely get one of these because there's a really lovely flavor to it. Next up, I have this, and it's a free Uja Lacrosse Dendrobac. I'm going to really try and pronounce this now. Friju Lacris Jumur. How'd I go? Is that anything like it? Probably not. Come on out. Come on out and show everyone what you're like. Ooh, there you go. It's a chocolate bar. And look, it looks like there's licorice hiding in there, which means I'm going to bite into it and I won't be able to actually take a proper bite. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh, no, I got it. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Oh yum. This one is delicious. It's got milk chocolate and inside it, it's got like two little strips of licorice there. And on the outside, you can also see there's like a little picture of, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm okay, everyone. Here I am. <laughs> this sitting down thing's so hard, isn't it? It could have happened to anyone, really. What I was doing is I was sitting down and I was crossing my legs and I was leaning towards the camera. You know the rest of the story anyway. To the chocolate bar it's delicious look honestly i think that for those people who love licorice we've all got to move to iceland because we've got so many amazing licorice chocolate products over there and for everyone else out there who does not like licorice it'd be like a minefield of candy to you, you go mm, i like the look of that one but is there going to be licorice hiding inside probably yes this is a crop bar it seems to have some balls in it oh yes look 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 oh you yeah, can only look for a second though. There it is. You can see that it's got a couple of balls in it. And this is a serious chocolate. Something I should definitely have more of. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Oh, yum. Oh. This one is absolutely delicious. It's a milk chocolate and then the balls inside. Let's talk about the balls for a while. I'm going to try and bite one in half and show you the other half. All right, don't look at me. So inside it's like a puffed rice honeycomb sort of flavored hokey pokey sort of how you go and ball inside it. The combination of that with the milk chocolate is gorgeous. It's really hard to say what my favorite is because I would buy every single one of these again, definitely. Thank you so much for watching my taste test, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. Have a fantastic week, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.